Hey guys, it's Stoopy. If you've watched me play Among Us, you know I have some set scenes that I like to set up. Whenever I'm implicating somebody on a kill or come across a dead body, I like to play different courtroom scenes or newsroom scenes, and it's a lot of fun. Uh, today, we're about to go into a new session of playing, and I got a text message from my friend, and he was like, hey, I think you should do a like campfire scene or like a camping scene where we're all huddled around hearing a story about how you found a dead body. And I thought that was a really good idea. So I'm gonna make it. I did some preliminary searching for like campfire stuff and there was nothing that really looked good. Uh, so I'm gonna go with like a, a sitting out, camping in the backyard kind of feel. Uh, and we're gonna go with that. So to get started, this is gonna be like kind of a tutorial, kind of just like a thought process, watching me work kind of thing. Um, but some things you'll probably need if you want to emulate this is you're going to need probably a green screen. I have one. It's just, you know, retracted down in the ground. Uh, you're going to need good lighting to light up the green screen so you can get properly chroma keyed out. And another thing that's like not super necessary, but like really, really, really helps is a stream deck. Um, you can get like the stream deck app on your phone, which is like two or three bucks a month. And I think there might be some free versions too, but, um, that's going to really help you to create some like chains of processes. So like, for example, on my courtroom scene, when I press a button, say I press Brown, I'm going to bring my friend teed up onto the stand. That'll, if I click that button once, it'll automatically switch to my courtroom scene and then put teed up in the thing, in the seat, put the Brown character in the seat. And then it'll also play my law and order sound. But then when I click that button again, if I want to go back to gameplay, it switches back to the gameplay view and then it removes T-Dub so it has like a blank slate for the next time. So it's just like a really quick and easy way to do it. And those sort of shortcuts really help. So we're gonna set this all up and we're gonna see how it goes. Maybe it'll be good, maybe it won't, I don't know. So I've already got a Google search open and I found this image that I like of green grass. I'm gonna go ahead and open it in a new tab and then save it to my desktop really quick. Once that's done, we're gonna head into Photoshop. We're just gonna grab that image from my desktop. I'm looking over here, cause it's over here. And we're just gonna chuck it in. It doesn't quite fill up the 19 by 20 display, but it'll be fine. You can probably stretch it fine. Actually not super worried about that. That looks fine, maybe. Yeah, it's fine. It's good enough for a background. Uh, beyond that, we need a sleeping bag image. So let's go ahead and see if we can find one of those. Sleeping bag. Ooh, see, these would be good. This one, one of these. That would be good, images. I like this one. It's It's got a nice little look to it. Hopefully it's a big enough image. I think this will be fine. Yeah, that'll be fine. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and save this as a sleeping bag. So what we wanna do here is we wanna go back into Photoshop. We're gonna get that into there. Do, 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 do. Yep, okay, we're gonna just kind of move it around first. Let's go ahead and just do that. Cool, now we can do the perfective warp on this guy. And so, that looks kind of good, I guess. We'll move this over here, put a little drop shadow on it. Blending options, drop shadow, there we go. Yeah, yeah, okay, now I wanna see so we're just like doing a proof of concept here. So I wanna get in here close and I want to select like right along this fold because I'm basically going to copy and paste that. So I have that as another layer, okay. And so now what I wanna do is I will first export the layer as is. We're gonna save this as a PNG, put it on my desktop. Okay, then we want to save the same thing, but basically just this top layer. So we don't have the background, we don't have anything else, no grass, nothing, just this top layer. And we will save that as same place, sleeping bag top, okay. And we will put that also on the desktop. 
So now we open OBS and we go to our campsite and we add in an image. We'll call this campsite background, sleeping bag, there we go. And then we want to add the top image as well. So camp, I don't even remember what I wrote, camp site top. And we'll grab the top part too, which is just that second little sleeping bag portion. You can't even tell that it's there because it just overwrites on the other one, but it's there. And so now what we want to do is we want to add our camera, which is me, and add existing A6100. We're going to crop this in as much as we can, as much as it makes sense to. Okay, transform. Edit transform. Okay, there we go, there we go. So, now we gotta do a little bit of a rotation here this way. So we're just gonna say like negative 70, probably too much. Negative 45, probably too much still. Negative 35, that looks good right there. Okay, we'll size this down, size this down. I'm very small, very small indeed. Okay, so put that there, put it under the campsite top, and now it's just my head. Um, okay, so we'll bring this up a little bit. We can elongate the sleeping bag in Photoshop as well. So now if I open up my green screen, okay, if I do that, if I get all my green screen lights on, okay, and if I go ahead and turn on the filter for that, kind of looks like I'm in a sleeping bag. <laughs> kind of. I mean, I mean, it's not the best, but I'm in a little sleeping bag. I could make it all bigger. I think I will. Um, but that's, <laughs> that's pretty funny. <laughs> um... <laughs> I kind of like this. Okay, so what we have to do is make, we need to make the sleeping bag bigger. We need to make the top slice a little bit cleaner. And then we just need to add some crewmates around and then it'll be fine. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm, I'm a fan of this. Okay, so let's go back to just my webcam here. Okay, so I'm excited now because I know this will work and that just seems exciting to me. I think <laughs> the uh, something that I think of now that I have to add is like a cricket noises in the middle has to happen, that has to happen. We have to get those cricket noises for sure. Okay, so what I wanna do here is I want to grab both of these layers and make them a little bit bigger. Probably do like that. If I'm gonna make them that, I want to also just turn them a little bit more, just so they're a little bit more like this way, kinda, I don't know if that makes any sense, but it, it makes sense in my head, so don't worry about it. Um, now we just need to, I'm going to delete this top layer and we're going to get an actual good drawing around this one. So I'll be back in a second. Okay. That is a much better slice. That'll look way better. Um, okay. So I like that. I want to get some more sleeping bags in here. I think that's important. So we're going to go back to our sleeping bags little section here. Bop. Bop. Oh, I need to do that and then do that. Cool. Okay, so I'm going to get these all set up and I'll be back in a second. Okay, so now I've got my three sleeping bags. The one on the left is kind of weird perspective wise, but I'm too lazy to fix it. Um, I have two separate layers. Well, I have, I have a few separate layers, but I have like the main layer here with all the sleeping bags and the grass. And then I have one with just the tops. And so I'll export these as two different things like I did before and we'll, we'll get it figured out here. So I'll do that now. Okay, so I've re exported them. And so now they have look a little bit different. 
but it means I can get a little bit bigger and I can change my rotation. So if I go into uh, transform, edit transform, if I just turn myself a little bit more, that's probably good. I did kind of realize that, so now with the green screen, it looks like this. I'm in my sleeping bag. It's really cute. I think it looks fine. <laughs> So there's my campfire. Okay, now the thing I realize is that to um, to get the little crewmates in there, they're not gonna be, like if I add in blue here, they're not gonna be perspective either because I can't perspective warp these. Well, I mean, I didn't perspective warp myself and it looks fine. So let's try, let's, let's try it. Let's just make sure we can try it first. So he's gonna be rotation, I'm gonna call it 20. Perfect. This will be fine. And edit transform. Yeah, flip horizontal. So if I have him over here, then he's like kind of looking at me, you know. So I kind of want to make sure I'm doing that. It doesn't make that much of a difference, but I don't know. Seems kind of nice. We can put him right here. Maybe just make him a little bit smaller. And there we go. Close, put him underneath the top. And he comes out the bottom a little bit, but that's fine. We can just crop him. And there we go. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> oh, this is so stupid. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I'm loving this. I'm loving this so much. Okay, um, I need one more. Let's just add in like a green lime, lime green. That'll go good against the uh, blue thing here. Let's just see how he looks if I uh, give him, you know, if I just put him in here like this. You know, I think that's actually fine if I just leave him like that. I think that's fine. Yeah, I think that's fine. So I do that and then I have like, <laughs> I have like some kind of uh, audio source. Is that a thing? Can I do that in here? Audio. I can do like a VLC video source, but I can't do like a, oh, media source, there we go. So I can just do like, you know, crickets. Oh, cool, it's, it's, a, it's its own source. So now this should be playing that sound. I can't hear it, so I don't know if it is or not, but I have the sound going now. I have my stupid friends and my stupid sleeping bags with me. And uh, I think this is pretty funny. Okay, so this is pretty much done. I'm gonna make a couple of different versions so that I have, you know, options to play with. Yeah, I'll just, I'll just fill this in with more crewmates and then I'll show you how I program the buttons. So I'll do that now in a little bit. I'll be back in a second. <laughs> okay, so now in Stream Deck, we need to create a new folder. I'm gonna call this campsite. Cool. Now, when you go into my courtroom, you'll see I have buttons for every crewmate. News, I have buttons for the different places. I think I'm gonna do kind of the same kind of setup with the courtroom as I did here. So I'm just gonna go into this and select all if I can. I cannot. But I'm gonna grab this, go up, go to campsite, paste. We'll go to our, we'll grab the Discord thing because that's really important to have. Uh, toggle Discord mute, toggle Discord deafen. I like to have that everywhere just because it's handy in case I need to talk to chat or, you know, something happens. So basically what we wanna do, so I'm gonna pick a color and we're going to, so this is a multi-action source, okay? Multi-action switch. So let's actually, let's actually set this up from the start. I think that'd be better. I'm gonna delete that. Okay, so we're gonna do a multi-action switch and so this means on the first press, we need to set up which actions occur. So I'm gonna make this one the pink button for if it's the pink person who is dead. And basically what I, what I wanna tell is if pink is dead, don't show a pink character. I don't have a pink character in my thing because I'm usually the pink character, but just stay with me. So we're gonna do, we're gonna switch scenes. Okay, we're gonna switch scenes to 
campsite. You don't need to name these, but I'm just doing this for my own sanity right now. Switch to campsite, okay? Then we need to turn on a source. And we actually need to turn on two of them. And actually, I think what I usually do is I have the sources turn on first. Yeah, I have the sources turn on first so that they're there when the scene loads up. So instead of this, we'll just move these up, move this up. And so now we want to toggle two of the different Among Us characters. So we wanna make sure we're on campsite and we will do black and we will do, uh, I think I put lime on, well, I know I put red on that side. So basically what this is saying now is when I click this button once, this button on my stream deck, it will turn on both of those scenes, those sources. So it'll turn on black and it'll turn on red. Black's over here on the left side, uh, red's on the right side. And then it'll switch to that scene. So if I do this right now, it worked. My green screen's not working right now because I put it away, but you get the point. So now that was step one of that, of that kind of apparatus. We need to do step two now. And what I like to do on this one is switch the scene first. So we'll switch the scene back to our Among Us green screen view, which is the default view I use for when I'm playing Among Us. And then we'll tell it to turn off the sources so that there's another blank slate for later. So we'll do Among Us campsite black, campsite red. And so now this multi-action switch is completely done. If I press it again, you'll see that I'll go back to my Among Us gameplay screen. And that happens. And so now if I'm in OBS and I switch to campsite, there should be no crewmates on either side of me because it, it should have turned those sources off and it didn't. So something didn't work there. And I know what it is. I always forget to do this. There's a setting right here, activate or deactivate, you wanna deactivate. And that's all it is. So let's go ahead and switch to, let's turn these guys off for now for the testing. Make sure you test these things all the time. So I'm gonna go into Among Us green screen. I'm gonna press the button. It'll take me to my camping site. It turned on black and red. And then I'm gonna press it again to go back to my gameplay. And if I go to campsite here, they're off. Okay, so then basically what you wanna do is you can add little icons to this. So I like to add the uh, um, icons of the characters. So like pink, this is the pink one. And it automatically sets an off button, off icon for that. But there you go. So that one now on my stream deck, if you go up to here, it shows a pink button here. And that means that I'm clicking that because pink is dead and I know for sure I won't have a pink crewmate next to me. And that's really all it is. That's all there is to it. It's not that difficult to get all set up. Once you get it done, it works out. It looks fun. People have a good time. And uh, I hope that this was helpful. I had a good time making it. I can't wait to get it deployed today. And I hope that y'all enjoy this video. I know it's kind of long, kind of roundabout way of doing it, but you got kind of the process of how I make it work and setting it all up with the given setup that I have. And yeah, so that's been it. I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Gather around friends, we just by the campfire. I'm gonna tell you a story about how I found one sad poor Noodle Bob. I was doing my task grabbing my oil cans and I walk into the electrical room. I walk up and there he is, my friend, my dear friend, the yellow banana, Noodle Bob, dead on a vent. It's a sad the tale. The question is, was he killed by a brown banana? Good for making banana bread. Is it good for making murders too? 
I, I the only reason I ask is because Andrew's already mode. Oh. 